is happy sunday happy sunday happy sunday sunday is a day when we cook we cook for all the family and friends and visitors church sister church brother who pass along we cook our food and we share sharing is caring so i cook a lot of food so if my church sisters pass my church brother my friend my cousin my sister anybody pass we have food they could eat and food they could take with them yes here i have over here my toss salad I have uh, um, lettuce, cucumber, and carrot right here. This is some steak I have right here. The doctor says steak is not good. Every food is good. Ever since I've been growing, my mother always cook all this kind of food, and we've been eating until we're going strong and healthy. But doctor come and tell me, don't eat that, don't eat that, then come back and tell you to eat. Steak is good. It helps you to clean out the clean out whatever inside your stomach when you eat steak and then you go to the bathroom you see how good it is it's like a laxative steak is good so eat it up and this is our rice and peas right over there my rice and peas is cooked from scratch remember we wash our peas and we put the peas on the fire in cold water and then when it boiled up we throw cold water again to sink it we put our scallion thyme onion pepper salt and a little butter or whatever you choose to put in your rice and peas but remember if you make the rice the peas too soft the rice and peas is gonna saggy we don't want to saggy rice and peas we don't want to half rice half cook rice and peas cook your rice and peas to good and over here i do some fried chicken this is some fried chicken this is not from kentucky it is not from Popeye. It's made by me from scratch. When you're making fried chicken, remember you do not put no onion, scallion, or thyme on it. We put only powder season and we fry it in a lot of oil so it's boiling the oil and it's only fried for 15 minutes. With, I put mustard on it, that's why you have the crisps, a nice look, and egg. Then I put it in the flour and fry it. Yeah? Over here we have my sarrel that made from scratch. My sarrel, I grated the the um the ginger and put it let it boil for 10 15 minutes and i put my sorrel in there and then i make it set for overnight so that's my sorrel over there it's my pudding that i made yesterday i make my pudding from scratch that is potato pudding yes i always make that when grand grand come down they could get it they come down sometime on weekends from college and over here i have some corn and some garden egg and some um and, and carrot, I made this specially for Kenny because Kenny is getting too big. So we have to try to cut her down with her eating. And there, so I try to give her, you know, she's going to eat everything right here. But yes, Sunday is a day that we cook all our food and we invite our friend, our guest. And the guest or your friend going to come with somebody. Share, sharing is caring. So Queen Olive likes to cook. And remember, Queen Olive, after she finished cooking, she clean her place. Clean, clean, clean her place. That's my stove over there. When you finish cook, you got to clean or else your place will look messy. By the time you're ready to clean the grease, embedded in there so we clean after every cook and sweet so right here we have all kind of food right here we're going to enjoy myself with my visitors and my friends who come over to eat and later on i'm going to do a live talk show one love to each and everyone in the whole entire world it's coming from queen olive remember three meals a day it is good for our body and it's not in between when the kids want food and they ask some more give it to them because we don't know sometimes what is going inside going on inside their stomach so food is the stuff of life let us eat our food and enjoy yourself and to those who don't have any food and you're in brooklyn new york you could stop by queen olive you could get a plate of food you don't have to pay you don't have to put no tip down you could get a plate of food food always here in this house this is my potato salad did i tell you about the potato salad the potato salad have relish and sweet peas and potato and egg and mayonnaise yeah we boil the potato and we boil the egg and we put everything together and mix up and it is lovely sweet peas mayonnaise potato and egg and we stir everything together and we get our lovely thing last week i make that make it with um what did I make it with? With the red beetroot, I make it with, and it's lovely. We don't have to just sit and make it only with that. We could make it with carrot, grated carrot, sweet peas, sweet bean carrot, anything you want. You choose to make your potato salad to make it look delicious. So food is one of the most important things. And remember, divas and then when we are cooking our food, we have to cook our food with love in our heart and cook our food with cleansiness. And do not think about what people say about you. You know who you are and what you will do and what you will not.
not do because if you're going to do something to the food and you're going to eat it, that means you're stupid. Remember, cook with love. Love is the key. One love and loyalty. It's coming from Queen Olive. Bye-bye.